in here. Oh, the little one just resting next to the gate. Oh, they hear my voice. They said, oh, she's here, which means she's going to be coming in with food. Oh, 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 All right, we're coming in. And here is the aftermath of lunchtime. All the bowls are puppy chow watered down. They are now off of the puppy gruel. We did for, I think, a day or two try five bowls of watered down puppy chow and just regular hard chow, but they're just, they're not ready for it just to be the straight hard chow, which is understandable. But we still like to just see if there's any one or two puppies that are interested in just a hard chow yet. But no, not yet. So all watered down. And now they are chasing around their mommy where they are still doing the weaning off process. <laughs> they are still trying to nurse as well. We have their appointment for their vaccinations and vet check scheduled for next week. So that will be done. And also we have Nala's appointment booked for her. And Nala's appointment is pretty much gonna go over everything again, making sure everything with her is up to par everything's okay because as you know and we've stated many times her health and care is the forefront we enjoy doing this as well but Nala's care is what's really important Nala has her scheduled appointment for next month so she's gonna be going to be getting pretty well completely checked of everything once again and like I said to you her Health is our high priority. She's our baby girl. We enjoy and love the puppies, but she's important, very important to us. So if anything on her test come back that give any red flags or have changed, like I said to you prior before when we did the first litter, now this is litter number two, it will completely stop and she will be getting spayed, no more litters. But she'll be having all her tests done just to see if everything's still on the up and up or if there's anything that's questionable that could cause a potential future litter to have any defects or cause her any issues or harm. So that will be done. And it is very costly for anyone who is considering breeding. As you know, we enjoy doing mixed breeds. We don't do purebred dogs. Those who do purebreds, like amazing and to each their own but we just the breed we chose were the mixed breed so her tests will be done and we're looking at just over twelve hundred dollars to have all of her tests done but that is something after every litter that you should do and has to be done it's important it's important for the well-being and the health of your hey baby of your dogs as well as the puppies because you don't want to be producing litters that could potentially harm your dog or could result in defects of the puppies hey yeah <laughs> but i'm so happy with her she's been doing absolutely amazing now as you've seen she has lost a nice bit of weight especially after having the litter, but that is normal. But you just have to make sure she has food and water access 24 seven. Now the other dogs like Claire are quite happy about that because there's always a bowl of food down <laughs> all hours of the night and all hours of the day. But for Nala, to me, it's extremely important to make sure that she doesn't get dehydrated or malnourished, but all of that is still being produced. And to also, like I said, the puppies are still weaning, so they're still expecting milk from their mama. So I just wanna make sure there's no issues when it comes to that. Hi. <laughs> yeah? Some of them still following you? You're like, baby, you soon have to stop. You soon have to stop, babies. And they are having their teeth come in. I mentioned that in another video. <laughs> Claire absolutely loves them. Claire, if you have not watched the other videos and this is your first one, Claire is spayed. She is from the first litter of Nala. But yep, she's spayed. 
And Ariel is also from Nala's first litter, and she is now spayed. She has her e collar on today. She's in recovery. And then last but not least, Layla will be spayed. So to each their own. I understand some people do inbreeding. I understand certain countries, it's okay, all that, but for our personal preference, we don't want to judge what other people do or anything like that. That's not our place to do that. But it's not our place to judge what anybody else does. It's none of our business what anybody else does. And that's, I think, a big problem with social media. And with people on the internet, they're so quick to judge and not know other cultures or backgrounds or what other people are going through, anything. So, us just personal, we don't inbreed. And it's not something I want to do with our dogs. So. <laughs> no, none of that here. Ain't none of that here. <laughs> yep, the puppies are doing amazing. <laughs> As you can see, they're full of life here. Yes. And they love their puppy nursery. If you're wondering why there's no beds down today, I had to remove them all because they had little accidents on them. So I just laid the blanket down last night when cleaning the room. It was completely covering this area, but they got it all bunched up. So I just laid down the nice fleece blanket for them and hopefully I'll have a chance to get their beds washed today. Things have been quite chaotic today. But if not, I'll just put down a new clean blanket so they have something comfy to lie on so they're not just on the floor. Now this floor is quite warm because we do have an electric fireplace in this room that just, it's steady going. We keep the temperature in here at the regulated temperature that it needs to be. So that's all done. But no. <laughs> like I said, you can see some are still nursing. And that is okay. 